Melo was so good, he can get his shot off in a phone booth, right? Like, he didn't need Dang. much space. And so with him, I had to play him extra tight. You know what I mean? There there wasn't that, – that era, there wasn't no sweep through. Guys wasn't, you know what I mean, trying to draw fouls. It was about a bucket. Go get a bucket. And, and Melo, I just knew – Body to body, stay tight as possible. I had Roy, you know, guarding me behind me. So it was just about like, I knew my, 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 the way my feet, I could move my feet so quick that I, I wasn't worried about getting blown by. Um, and so it was always just staying tight with Melo, contest everything. He was so good at, at, you know, creating contact and, and being physical that like, you know, I was just going to be in for a long game. But the plan was just stay tight as possible on Melo. One thing that I remember about Melo was just that jab step with both feet too. Not only could he jab step going right, but he had the same jab yeah. going left. What was that like? Oh, it was crazy. That's what I'm saying. You couldn't give him, like, he could get his shot off like this. And I added that to my game, that quick jab, and he'll put that bounce and then step back. And you could not guard it. It was an unguardable. So that's why you could never give him space because you're going to play on your heels. When you're guarding Melo, you're, he, he was so, – he. The fastest first step I've ever seen for a guy that size, he had the quickest first step. So you had to play tight defense on Melo. You know what I mean? Like you had to try to force him to play with his back to you just so because, you know, you, at that point you, you're, you're looking for a second move. If you let him face you up, oh, it's over. It's over. You couldn't allow Melo to face you up. Yeah, I always think about those videos of like Kobe and Melo going at it where they're swimming and they're trying to get position. But other than Melo, who, who would you say was your toughest matchup? Because you take pride in defense. Who's the most difficult player that you've ever had to guard in the NBA? 100%, 100% Melo. Oh, just Melo all up. 100% Melo, bro. Melo was in, in New York. What? <laughs> I actually got my, like, when the first time guarding Melo was when he was in Denver and I was in Indy. Funny story. Uh, Danny was ahead of me, right? So Danny was originally supposed to play. We get a call that Danny slips in his bathtub. What? <laughs> sprains his ankle. And so he's out the game. He's out for the game. So, like, now I got to guard him. And I'm like. Wait, he slipped in the shower. He slipped in the shower. I'm still on that right now. He slipped and fell in the shower. Who don't know how to shower and you get off slip and you miss the game? Bathtub you, or shower? Shower. He okay, slipped okay. in the shower. Oh, that that he didn't want to play that night. <laughs> he didn't, and that was the story. <laughs> he didn't want to play. What? Danny is my guy. I love Danny to death. But that was the story. Like, <laughs> like guys would say, like, "Oh, you got mellowitis today, huh?" <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to play, B. Danny was not trying to play that night, right? So we get the call. Danny <laughs> falls, and it was like a game where I'm not expecting to play. I'm not playing at this point. Like, I'm playing very spot minutes. Like. So my preparation going into the game, I'm like playing video games, not locked in. Like, <laughs> and I get the call like literally like 30 minutes to an hour before my bus time. Like, yo, Danny's out tonight. You're going to start. You got mellow. <laughs> so I'm like. Why you just slipped out the shower? Hey, what? <laughs> what shower? What you do? I, I should have called Danny. What you do? Oh, what you How do? you slip? <laughs> so I got mellow. Bro, Melo went for 40. First time playing him, he hit me with everything. Damn. 40. 40. Three ball, deep three ball, mid range, post game. So I'm like, yo, this dude is serious. <laughs> so now, and I'm happy for that moment because fast forward, that was in my mind. Like, oh, this dude busted my ass. Like, I got <laughs> get back. So we play him in the playoffs. Um, and and he was my toughest, he was by far the toughest from an individual standpoint. Just because, uh, like, how physical he played. And I, after games, literally, bro, I would have ice bag here, ice bag here, like ice bag on my knees, sitting in a cold tub. Like, <laughs> just how sore I was, like, how tired I was. Like, because he'll shoot, miss, go get it. Shoot again, miss, go get Like, he had that quick jump. He'll move you out the way, push Bully. your ass out the way. Bully game. Dope. Yeah, Mello, was, Mello was a problem. <laughs> Melo was, he was probably the toughest I had to match up with. Jackie, it's time to check in on our picks. Come on, man. We had a little L.A. battle last night. You know that. And my <laughs> Clippers beat your Lakers. But how'd you do with your entries? Come on, boy. You know I'm always up. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. <laughs> 
But anyway, they don't know what I'm talking about. So let the people know what Prize Picks is first. So Prize Picks is a daily fantasy app. You pick two to six players, then pick if they will have more or less than their Prize Picks projections. You aren't competing against other people. It's just you versus the projections available. So How'd you win, Jackie? Look, I placed a little entry on LeBron to score more than, than his projected points, okay? And Anthony Davis to have less than his projected rebounds. And I know how much I won, but tell the people how much they can win on prize picks. <laughs> you can win up to 25 times your money on any entry. And on top of that, all first-time users that deposit and use our promo code, Podcast P, will receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100. That means if you deposit $20, prize pick will give you $20. If you deposit $100, prize pick will give you $100. Cha-ching! <laughs> 